And we are learning more about that hit and run crash on March 6th that killed 63 year old Herbert Weevil on West River Drive in Stevens Point. Police tell News Channel 7 the suspect did admit to driving nearly 50 miles per hour on a 25 mile per hour zone. Police are still investigating the crash, but it's left the Stevens Point community shaken and wanting change. News Channel 7 Sam Deering joins us now live on West River Drive. Sam, what are you learning? Jeff and Cassandra, please tell me uh, speed has been an ongoing issue even before the death of Weevil. But it's not just speed that's causing concern for people of Stevens Point. Shortly before a stop sign on West River Drive, there's a slight curve. When you're on that turn, it can sometimes cause your vision to be limited with the sun beaming at you because there are no road shoulders or an emergency stopping lane. Because of the curves, you're in and out of the shadows of the trees and directly into the, to the, to the shadow. We absolutely need a, a walking zone. Speeding had also been a major concern, especially for people that live on West River Drive. One issue is the lane markings that are fading. Lane markings indicate exactly how wide the road is and tell people about paying attention to the street to make sure that you're within the lane markings. Olson has had people pass him on this road while they're going nearly 50 in the 25 miles per hour zone. So simply marking the center lane with a double stripe, no pass zone would narrow people's operational uh, width on the street and basically cause them, I think, to slow down. Police have also noticed concerns with speeding on West River Drive. We've had over 60 traffic stops in that area since 2022 on West River Drive, over half of them resulting in enforcement action being taken place. It's a change that many people want to see happen. Nobody should have to die just for walking on their residential street. I think we have to ask ourselves as a community and ask community leadership, you know, how many more people? Please tell me the suspect's vehicle is still being investigated. Um, Lieutenant Johnson also tells me that they could add more speed limit signs to West River Drive. Live in Stevens Point, Sam Deering, News Channel 7. Sam, thank you. Also in Portage County tonight, two committees are meeting to discuss the future of the Portage County Healthcare Center. Tonight on News Channel 7 at 10, Nolan 